you say run out of money or run low on money, are you talking about? No, 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 no. no. Running low is one thing. Yeah, running. Run no, no. Running low is only uh, fucking two or three times a night. Running out is fucking no times a night. Right. So if when you're saying that you're referring to that, that's because of just you're trying to pay your own rent, or is no, it no. It's because it takes you longer, and you just. You know, let's just say your living expenses, I don't know what living expenses are. Personal living expenses. Ten grand a month or five, whatever the number is. Right. You think you're going to get it done in seven months? It takes you an 11. Right. Okay. Do people, uh, do people run out of money in, in uh, South Africa? <laughs> you see, yeah, all the time, you know. I used to think the RAND, well, a long time I thought the rand was more, I th you know, the, than it is, and you know, I said, "Well, fuck, this guy must make a lot of money." And then Sally says, "Damn, you got to divide that." And I, is it seven now? Seven to one? Seventeen now. But well, this was when it was seven. Yeah, no, I knew you, but I mean, so seventeen, fuck. The, um, but I had, I had, I had fun in South Africa. That's a fun. And when our three offices there, fuck, it was unbelievable. You know, we love Cape Town. Cape, I mean, that's that's one of the places that Sally and I could easily live. We loved it there. Um, jo Joburg is is tough. I mean, of course, all you guys, he man, all you six packers. I mean, all you guys that are ripped and you know, you three hundred pound bench pressers. Fuck, I mean, you wouldn't have any problem, and, you know, you know, when those guys come and t decide to take your fucking uh, watch off your wrist, you know, uh, it amuses me, you know. What are you going to do with your six pack? Hmm? Run faster. What? Run faster. Run, fa <laughs> run faster. That's exactly right. Run faster. Run faster. Draw my gun faster? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're, you know, that's exactly right. The, um, um, Okay, um, I, 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 I've, uh, Jack Welsh says it nicer than I do, but I mean, there is no work-life balance in the, uh, now, I'm going to say this, and it may be true, it may, it may but probably, is your parents had work-life balance, and what did it get them? Now, the sad thing about it is, kids, Many of your parents in this room are living vicariously through you. So you can be more successful than they were. Now that's a sad fucking commentary if they're looking to you. It is. It is, you know, it's... Um, you know, back in the back in caveman days, when the adults, uh, old people, uh, their teeth fell out, the kids chewed their food and then gave it to them to swallow, because the, the parents had no teeth. In Asia, many of the Asian countries, the kids are their pension plan for them to be able to support them when they get old. Many uh, uh, Latin families are the same. You're their pension. You're their 401k in America. You're their pension plan. I would rather be dead than have to depend on my kids for anything. Why should I be a burden? Next time you're, uh, uh, a conversation comes up, ask your parents, why should, I, why should you be a burden on me? Ask them. There's no reason. None. And for you all, those of you that are raising kids, why should you be a burden on your kids? You shouldn't be. And when I see kids, I, I, I know kids that are 30 years old that have kids that still live at home. Now, I know in India and there's certain cultures where kids live at home. You know, and they keep their old their parents, you know, they live in the house in the back or upstairs or wherever. You can chain them to a radiator or wherever you do with them, okay? But with the cultural exceptions, why, why there's 
There's something not right about that. Yet, you may have thought it's not right, but it's not likely you ever brought it up to your parents. It's not likely that you brought it up to your parents. And I'm not suggesting you go home and tell your parents to get fuck, fuck off. And, but we had a guy, an Indian guy here, who had just bought his mother and father and grandparents multi-million dollar houses, pound houses, that went back and took them back. That takes a lot of balls in the Indian culture. I mean, and he said, you know, I, I never felt good about buying those houses. But culturally, you know, I'm, uh, he's a big property developer, but everybody said you ought to. Uh, then I said, what the fuck? And then, then, then you know, he had a, a slump in the business and the two, uh, 2010 crisis. Why am I starving to death when they're living in a four million pound house and my grandparents are living in a two million pound flat? They took them back. That's, that's not the norm. That's not the norm. That's not the norm. Who's my five o'clock today? Six o'clock. We're going to switch, actually, if that's okay. Okay. Because I'm leaving Monday after. And I had mentioned it to you. Okay. Okay. So now who's my six? Who's my seven? Okay. Oh, no, there's no seven today. It's just six. Okay. So free love, feel love. Is that for real? No shit, feel love. I'd say feel that when anyone. Anyway, I, I had I had a business partner named Loveless, like in the movie. Um, yeah. uh, what's the name of the porn movie? Uh, you, yeah, you said the name. <laughs> <laughs> you said the name. What's the name? Huh? Oh, well, she had a clitoris in her throat. What's the name of that oh, porn deep movie? Throat. What? Deep throat. Yeah, I knew you'd know. Okay, okay, okay. But his name was Loveless, just like in Deep Throat. Yeah. It, Feel love. Fuck. Hey, all your families call that? Uh, no. <laughs> no? What do the rest of the family call themselves? Brown. <laughs> From brown to feel love. So which is the real name? Brown. So, but you're feel love yeah. because you... Uh, uh, I changed my name. Well, I didn't say the feel love. Did you pick it? I did. Okay. I wanted. To, I picked a name that there was no. There was no one else with that last name. I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> no. I. You know, if I had to rename myself, I'd say feel this. <laughs> <laughs> feel this. Now, there's a reason why my kids don't watch me on YouTube. It should, it should be obvious, especially my daughter. Uh, every once in a while, somebody that knows my daughter says, uh, "That guy that says he." he that you say is not your dad was talking. I heard him on YouTube. My daughter tells everybody I'm a truck driver. <laughs> truck driver. Okay, tonight we have another um, film. You only have one piece of written homework that you've get, been given here. Um, the uh, any questions? Be thinking about the um, the role playing that you want me to implement in um, the days. Um, going forward, and um, tonight we have dinner in the castle. I say that because a couple of nights we don't eat in the castle, we eat in the pavilion, like you have lunch, but this isn't one of them, uh, Sally reminded me, and um, the, we'll be a full contingent, we won't be looking for the, uh, the, uh, the last person that didn't show up, we kept thinking, I kept saying, before, before we eat, I wait, everybody sit down, and so I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and Sally says he's not coming. He's not here, you. And I said, oh, OK. So then we go ahead and eat. Any questions before we break? Uh, yes, sir. On the assignment, did you want us to focus on one specific thing that we would change? or No, no. I mean, you know, you could say, well, I, I, let me give you two or three examples of what the kids have talked about. I wish that I had not, I had not converted to uh, Catholicism from Judaism. You know, which doesn't mean much to me because, you know, but. Uh, uh, I wish that I had uh, gone uh, and finished medical school. I wish that I had gone to Harvard instead of 
a school I got explained about so I could be closer to my mother. Okay. You want to elaborate on that? Obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. You got to. So why? I mean, the, the, not just write a sentence. Uh, you know, I've had people say that I. Uh, you know. Uh, this is a shitty thing to say, but 30% of the blacks that are here say they're not, not in this room, say they're not black. At least a third. They're not black. They got a reason why they're not black. I, I wish I could make, a, truth is stranger than fiction. You ask my wife tonight when we're having drinks. She, can, she remembers their names. Because if you were told me that you're not black, you would not be the first black guy from South Africa that told me he wasn't black. Now, is there any doubt in anybody's material, uh, civilian or military mind that that young man is black? Any doubt in anybody's mind? But we've had people tell us. It's like that woman that pretends to be black who's on TV, CNN. She's that, uh, she, she says she's black and she's not. Um, yeah. Now, what the fuck? I don't know what that's all about, but now she says she, she says she was, but now she identifies with being black. Well, I identify with being seven foot three and playing in the NBA and having a two foot dick. I didn't, you know, so what? Well, there's guys pretending to be women, so. Oh, yeah, well, no, but yeah, but, they, but, but, they, but no, no, see, oh, that, that, that's really, that's really not PC. They're not pretending. I went into a bathroom here at, at, at one of the schools I talked to that um, it was guys and girls in it. I jumped back and I said, wait, wait, and there was urinals and all. I was, I was shocked. Bloody shocking, actually, as the British would say. I'm not used to that. I mean. Security six. Huh? Security oh, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But, they, but it didn't say you and it didn't say anything. But, you know, I should have been more, you know, I should have watched guys were walking in. And girls were walking out. I would do it back in my day in school. That's because they're having sex in there or some shit, you know. But uh, the um, yeah, there was there was uh, two sexes in the bathroom. Bloody so shocking. Contact with black people. Oh yeah, absolutely. I had lunch with him uh, when I was in Los Angeles. How old was he in this time? How what? How old was he? He was twenty-four. That yeah, pay, no, no. He came. He was a pizza boy. Limo driver, uh, grip on a stage. I'm not sure what a grip does. Okay, and then, but now he's a movie producer. And now his last movie was uh, with uh, uh, De Niro and Duval. And he's done two or three movies with Franco. And uh, he's full of piss and vinegar. He, uh, you know, when I had lunch with him. Uh, uh, but he was a pizza boy. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm still in contact. I'm in contact with all, virtually everybody on, on the back wall I'm still in contact, that are alive. We had some, unfortunately, we had some people pass away recently. Send it on this wall? What? Send it. No, Lucinda's well, not on that wall. Lucinda's well, not on any wall. Uh, in fact, the anniversary of me firing Lucinda was April 1st, 19 years ago. L.B. Burke. She was terrific. She burned herself out. The, the, the ones that are really the, at the forefront have to, we had, uh, let me see, we had um, two nervous breakdowns last year. Arguably three, but I'm not counting the third one. Um, Three attempted suicides, separate from the nervous breakdown. That's about it. It was a slow year. I'm not making light of the suicides. I'm not attempted suicide. I'm not making light of the nervous breakdowns. But, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not everybody's cup of tea. It just isn't. And, um, and believe me, six pack of nutrition don't get you there. Just like love doesn't get you there, six pack of nutrition doesn't get you there. So that you uh, nutrition addicts, which I find amusing. 
you all look like, you know, to me, when you were the greatest, you all look like skinny wimps. I mean, you just, except for a couple of the uh, tubs of shit that we got in the room. I mean, you know who I'm talking about, uh, yeah. The, uh, except for a couple of tubs of shit, I mean, and the old tub of shit, I mean, the, uh, yeah, you look like skinny weenies to me. Now, what am I missing? Am I missing something? Am I missing some virality that you got, you know, you got pencil, lead in your fucking pencil, you can fuck all night, Pro, I mean, am I missing something? No. You look like skinny weenie, weenies. I mean, no wonder you can't get your dick wet. And there's not a single guy in this room that doesn't want to grab a big pair of tits and fuck it. That's just the way it is. Ask her. She, you know, she, she's the one that's got to fight him off. I already told you if I was a woman, but I'm not putting that on YouTube. <laughs> okay, YouTube, say a prayer for me, cat. Okay, uh, any questions?